Okay, so this template is gonna show you how to create a series of three videos for a three-day product or service launch. So you're not just getting a template for one video here, you're actually getting a template for three different videos that are sent out over the course of three different days. So let's just go over the brief overview here. So launch videos are typically a series of videos released over the course of several days to create buzz and anticipation around your upcoming product or service. The goal is to deliver your best high value uh, content to warm, uh, excuse me, the goal is to deliver, to deliver your best high value content for free to warm up prospects for your upcoming offer. This is often referred to as turning your sales letter on its side because it's because all important elements from a long-form sales letter are, are present across the launch video sequence. So basically what this means is that you're taking your typical sales letter, all the elements found in a typical sales letter, and you're splitting it up over the course of three different days. And when done right, this technique can generate massive amounts of sales in very little time because by the time you present your paid offer, prospects are already sold on it days in advance from consuming your free content. And here's a link where you can check out um, one of my best launch videos. And if you click over, that will take you to YouTube. And this is just for one of our pr old Primo Press themes called WP Auto Mall. And you can just see how we introduce that theme. And this video was actually a one video product launch uh, because our customers knew who we were. We were at the point where we were releasing new themes every three weeks at one point. So we didn't have to do a three day product launch because we had a solid customer base and we didn't have to go through that entire selling process. Um, but if we were starting from scratch to get things going, we would. So basically we, we would condense all of these elements into one launch video so you might want to check out that video a lot of the elements from this will be found in that and like I said here um, these these three different videos here can be condensed into one if your audience knows who you are and, and you don't have to do as much selling so let's go ahead and get started um, so the three-day product or service launch so this would work for online products it would work with offline businesses it could work with local marketing services it could work with book launches it could work with software product launches it really doesn't matter um, anything could benefit from a product launch if you have a new product or service that you're trying to get out to the world and you're trying to generate some sales then a launch will definitely do the trick so here's how I've done it and starting with day one so you're gonna see a lot of the elements from these different days here um, or a lot of the elements that you're gonna see here are also gonna be found in the video sales letter template because the video sales letter is kinda of like the master template and a lot of those elements that are found in that template will be found in the other templates but used in different ways for example a lot of the elements from the video sales letter template will be used over the course of three different days here um, but just in a slightly different way so on day one you might make a video where you know this is the first time your viewer might be seeing your product or service so you have to do some type of introduction say who you are you know just give a brief introduction of yourself why you're making this video you know, tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them what they're going to learn over the course of the next three days or maybe four days or whatever the length of your launch is. Make sure you let them know what's in store for them so you can create some type of anticipation so they'll stick around for the remaining videos. So tell them why you're making this video. Maybe it's because you want to um, teach them how to um, use video marketing to get more uh, customers into the restaurant okay maybe you're making a you're, you have a product for restaurant owners and maybe that product is uh, a video creation service or something like that maybe you would create a new video for the restaurant every month and get it on the first page of Google I don't know and uh, maybe your launch for that service would be teaching them how they could use video to get more clients and then at the end you would have a done-for-you service so tell them, over the next few days, I'm going to be showing you how to use video to get more customers into your restaurant. 
So that's what they're going to get out of this video. If you don't, if you don't tell them what they're going to get out of this video or over the these series of videos here, you're going to lose them right away. So make sure you do that first. And just like in the video sales letter template, you're going to tell your story. You're going to talk about how you got started in this business, the struggles that you faced. And then this is where you actually start to talk about the problem. So using the same example again here, let's say you offer you you offer a done for you video creation service for restaurant owners. Okay, uh, video done for you video marketing service. So you could talk about how maybe if you don't own a restaurant, you could talk about a friend or someone else that you know who got started in the restaurant business who didn't have or who had trouble getting people in the door. Maybe they almost went out of business. You could talk about the struggles they faced and just talk about how they just couldn't get customers in the door of their restaurant. And again, I don't want to go too much into why you need to tell a story here um, because that's all covered in the video sales letter template, which is kind of the master template here. So you should watch that one first. Um, but the reason why you should tell a story is because you're building rapport with the viewer. You're creating trust and credibility so they can see you're a real person, they can see you have real struggles just like them, and it gives them a mirror to look into and admit their own struggles without actually admitting they have a problem. Again, check out the video sales letter template um, if you need any clarification on this stuff. So after you've done the introduction, whether it's an introduction of you or a friend of yours, it doesn't matter, or even a, a made up person, an avatar, if you will, do that introduction, then you're going to actually get into the problem identification. And this is where you actually start to talk about the problem that your product or service solves. So again, using the video done for you video marketing service for restaurant owners example, this is where you can actually um, talk about how your friend didn't uh, couldn't get any customers in the door of his restaurant. Maybe he had like five people in in his dining room at a night and he couldn't get any more, whatever the case may be. Um, and again, the same elements of the video sales letter, people don't like to admit their problems. So if you're, if you're, if a restaurant owner is watching this video right now, so they, so if we made a sales video for restaurant owners and they're having trouble getting um, customers in their door you know they know they have that problem but if you call them out and say they're doing something wrong or they're not mark uh, they're, they're not getting those customers in the door because they're not marketing online they're gonna go into complete denial because you're calling them out so what you're doing here by telling a story from the point of view of someone else is you're giving them a way to admit that they have a problem but by seeing it through someone else's eyes if you will and again, watch the video sales letter template if you need more clarification on that. But after you've identified the problem, you go in to agitate the problem and talk about how it got worse. Again, showing them what's in store for them if they don't take action to solve the problem without calling them out specifically. In this case, we could talk about how our friend couldn't get customers in the door of his restaurant, so he went out of business. He lost his house. He lost his house. His wife left him and he had to get a small 400 square foot apartment and uh, live in it by himself and eat cold pizza every day because he couldn't afford to go grocery shopping. So that would be where we actually agitate the problem and let them know what's in store for them if they don't fix it. And in the product launch series, we're actually going to give them the solution. We're not just going to propose a solution. We're going to give them part of the solution. So we're going to give them some nice free quality content, they can, the content that they can use. And then, but we're not going to give them everything. So for example, if you have maybe a service, like I said, a service, a done for you video marketing service for restaurant owners, give them the solution. So tell them exactly how they can use video to get more customers, uh, how they can, you know, shoot customer testimonial videos for all their happy customers and put them on Facebook and create buzz and build a customer list and email their customers uh, when they have specials and stuff like that. You know, give them some nice solid pieces of advice, but without giving away your product or service for free. 
and just a few more ideas here. Um, if you do this right, you can actually set up your product or service as the next logical step solution. So in that case, we would be giving them all this free advice on how to use video to get more customers, but they probably don't have the time to do that themselves. So the next logical step would be to pay someone else to do it. Now they know how it works and what it could do for them. They know they want to take advantage of video marketing, but they don't have the time or the skills to do it themselves. So the next logical step would be to hire someone, which perfectly sets us up to pitch our, our service. So just a few ideas here for selling software, for example. Um, your product launch could show them how to solve the problem manually. For example, um, we could talk about how to uh, rank a website on the front page of Google. Okay, We can show them how to do it manually with um, quality content and perhaps some link building. And then you know that would be the, the course of our product launch. But the done for you part or the product could be a done for you solution which could be software that does it automatically for them if you're selling a web design service your product or service launch could be um, some nice high quality info on how a website could be used to get more customers in the door and at the end you could sell a done for you service so that they don't have to do it themselves so it doesn't matter what you sell just because you're in a particular business you know don't don't tell yourself that a product launch or a service launch is not going to work for you. There's always a way to do it. So on day one, you would give them some nice quality content, but you don't want to give them everything just yet. You want to end off the video with some type of cliffhanger to keep them wanting more. Okay, so maybe you're giving them three tips. Maybe on day one, you only reveal one. And then on day two, you're going to reveal the second one. So you can end the video by saying, okay, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Today we covered X, Y, Z, but we still haven't covered A, B, C, or D, E, F yet. Meet me back here tomorrow for video two where I will reveal uh, the second step or the second tactic, okay? And then you can just quickly recap you know, what we covered and end the video. And like I said here, videos one and two could always be condensed into one video. Actually, all these can be condensed into one video um, it totally depends on uh, you know where you are in your business and how well your customers know you and how much selling you actually have to do. So the call to action at the end of day one, um, you're not actually asking them to buy yet, but there still should be a call to action. You still want your audience to, to take part or participate in this product or service launch event. And the whole idea for for videos one and two is to get engagement, you know, to get to generate some social proof so that other people that are checking out these videos see that other people are interested in them as well. So the call to action for day number one should be for them to leave a comment below the video. Say, if you enjoyed this video, please leave your comment below and let me know what you think. You could say, how do you plan to use this information in your business? Or how do you plan to use this in your life? Or how do you plan to use... Um, how do you plan to use this information I just gave you? And then the whole idea is to get them to leave a comment below the video. And the reason why you want to do this is because you want engagement in the form of comments. And the more comments you get, the more comments you get because it's kind of a snowball effect. Uh, once people see that other people are interested in something, um, they're more apt to participate in it as well. And when people come to your video and they see all the comments on it, they're going to say, wow, this, you know, people are really liking this. Maybe I should check this out and see what it's all about. So that's the whole point of day one and day two is getting engagement on your videos and getting comments. And you can actually use an incentive um, to actually get people to comment. So instead of just asking them to comment, what we've done before is we've actually given people an incentive. We have basically bribed them by saying, if you leave a comment below, you could win a free copy of this. We're going to pick five people at random from the list of commenters and give them a free copy of the product. And what you'll find is that will greatly increase um, the amount of comments you get. And a recent website we sold, uh, primopress.com, um, the new owners are using this tactic and it's working very well for them. Whenever they announce a new WordPress theme, they get hundreds of comments on their videos 
and generating tons of buzz around their launch because of this tactic alone. So it definitely does work. So moving on. So after day two, uh, we've got video number two, and I'm just going to collapse these because they've magically expanded. I don't know why. So day number two is where we actually recap what we covered in the last video. So you could start off with the video by saying, I hope you enjoyed uh, video number one. In video number one, we covered X, Y, and Z. And then you can actually restate the social proof that you've generated from video one. So you could say, um, for example, after day one, you should have a bunch of comments below your video. So you want to reference those comments. You want to say, by the looks, um, you've also loved the video. Uh, there's over 300 comments on the video. And then you'll know, show a picture of all the comments and um, you know use them as social proof that people are actually interested in this launch. The whole idea of a launch is to create social proof. Okay, It's to create a community, an event around your product or service. So once you've recapped from day one, you've shown the social proof that you've generated in day one, then you can actually continue the education process, you know, continue your teaching, pick up where you left off in video one and give away your best stuff. Um, but the whole idea with this giving away and educating your viewer, giving them free stuff again, is to do it in a way that it actually sets up the, the product or service that you're going to release in day three as the next logical step. So you're not just teaching and giving away content for the sake of doing it. You're doing it strategically in a way that will make them want to desire your product or service naturally because it's the next logical thing for them to do is to, you know, if they want to go to the next step, they will need to buy your product or service. So after you've uh, taught your or given away your free content in day two, this is where you're going to actually propose a potential solution or basically hint to a potential product that's going to take this whole step further. Okay. Um, so you could say something like, I hope you liked this training on how you can use video marketing to get more customers into your restaurant. But I want to let you know that there's an easier and better way to do this. Um, We've only just scratched the surface here, and tomorrow I'm going to be revealing a way for you to um, take advantage of video marketing without actually having to do anything on your own, without needing to learn uh, how to edit videos, without needing to sit in front of the computer for hours editing videos, without needing to um, invest in hundreds of dollars in uh, video equipment, without needing to get on camera. Uh, I'm just going to show you how you can take advantage of this. And of course, it's going to be a done for you service that you offer them. So you're basically teasing that something is coming. And this is where you're hinting at your potential product or service. And you're going to say in the next video, I'm going to reveal it all to you. And again, just some different examples of, of you know, scenarios depending on your product or service are found here. And then your call to action again would be to leave your comments. So you could say, okay, um, please let me know what you thought of this video. How do you plan to use this in your business? Or how do you plan to use what I just taught you? And the reason why we do this is because we're going to actually use this social proof in our sales page or in our sales video on day number three. So we're using uh, the comments from day one to... Um, create social proof in, in video two and then we're going to use the comments from day two and day one as social proof in our final video which is our sales video kind of sneaky but it's you know not unethical at all i mean you're obviously being very upfront and you're you know you're using real comments um it's just it's just a nice little way to generate some uh, some nice social proof for your offer even if you have no customers already so just tell them to leave your comment below. Um, how do they plan to use this? What do they think? Um, and I've also found that if you be more specific with what you want them to say in their comment, you get a better result. So don't just say, leave your comment below. Let me know what you think. Say, leave your comment below and let me know what you think about X. Or how do you plan to use X? Or how or when can you use this? Or what kind of difference will you see in your business with this information? 
If you be more specific in your call to action, you're going to get a much uh, better response. And again, you want engagement in the form of comments, and you can incentivize. So after day two, um, now we're ready to actually pitch our solution, our product or service. So day three video can actually start off as a recap. Say, okay, on days one and two, we covered this, this, and this. And, and at the end of video two, I told you that I'd have a solution for you um, that would help you take this one step further or make this whole thing completely hands off. And you can go into reference the comments again and say um, over 500 people have left comments on the videos and then you can you know, show the comments. Um, again, creating massive social proof here that people are interested in this. Um, and then you can actually go into introducing the product. You can say, okay, I told you there was more. I told you there was a way to make this easier. I told you there was a way to make this hands off. And I told you there was an easier, or better way. So what is it? And then you actually go to introduce the product. You can say, well, it's actually a, a new product of mine called um, Video Marketing Services 5000. <laughs> and then go into a brief sentence overview of it. Um, you know, describing your product or service. Um, so, for example, video marketing service 5000, the easy way to take advantage of video marketing for your restaurant establishment without needing to shoot video yourself or get on camera or whatever. And just go into what they actually get, just like the video sales letter. Um, in this case, we're talking about a service, so you could talk about you know, what they actually get with that service. You could say, okay, I show up at your location with my camera, um, we shoot your business, uh, we shoot uh, a 10 minute video of your business and we take it back and we edit it and we get it ranked on the first page of Google um, within 48 hours for absolutely free. And then we come back a week later and then you pay a small fee of $497 a month for us to come by and do a, a free video every month or not a free video but a video just like this every month for all of your different keywords so that people find your restaurant and they actually show up. And you could talk about your bonuses. Um, like I said, your bonuses should enhance the original product, make it turnkey, make it so they get faster results, whatever the case may be. Uh, in this case, a bonus could be, um, uh, let's see, maybe, I don't know, maybe a, uh, maybe you put the, the video on their website for free or whatever, you know, that could be a bonus. Whatever the case may be, work in a bonus there somehow. Um, and the important thing is, is just to show them exactly what they're going to get, exactly what it's going to do for them. And, you know, just basically breaking down exactly what you have. You don't need to do too much selling here because you've done a lot through days one and two, but you still should break down their product or service and uh, be specific about how it's going to help them. And then you can actually use more social proof here before you actually reveal the price. You could use the comments again if you don't have any testimonials yet, but it's always nice to have some testimonials. Maybe you have some beta testers or previous customers you can show off, um, successful customers who, who bought your product or service that you can use in your video. Screenshots if you have some type of proof of, of, of earnings or proof of of, of traffic or proof of more customers or whatever the case may be you need to show them some results so they can actually see the potential results that is in store or results that are in store for them and these are the same examples that we've seen in the video sales letter um, and so I'm not going to repeat them here but the whole idea is to have some type of social proof and some type of monetary proof or proof of something working and then this is where we have the call to action so this is where you actually restate what we've covered you say okay so so at this point we've covered um, what this product is what it will do for you and we've covered how it's worked for others now it's time for you to take the next step and you can at this point it's also a good time to remind them of all the free content you've given them because we want to um, use reciprocity to our advantage. So people are more likely to do a favor for you if you've done a favor for them. 
So if you do a favor for someone, they're more than likely to do a, or return the favor. So you, we've done them a favor by giving them all this nice free valuable info here. So they're going to be compelled or more compelled to order our product because of that. So we want to remind them of all this free information we've given them, all how we've actually helped them up until this point. So it makes more sense for them to, you know, to in, invest in our paid solution. And finally, you can in, reveal the price. Again, reference the total value of everything and cross it out and reveal the final price. Exactly. Tell them exactly how to order. What are the exact steps? Do they need to click a button? What color is the button? Where is it located on the page? And what happens when they order? They're going, are they going to get their login details emailed to them? Are they going to get an immediate download? Are they going to get access to a private members area? Are they going to get the product shipped out to them within 24 hours? Or are you going to show up at their business tomorrow? Or are you going to call them tomorrow with details on how to shoot their first video? You know, what is going to happen when they give you money? Um, the reason why we do this is because we like to put people's mind at ease. Um, some people... You know, even though it's not that common today, some people still do get scammed online. So it's always nice to tell people exactly what you're going to do with their money. Tell them how you're going to fulfill the product or service they just bought from you. And what do they need uh, or why do they need to order right now? Again, talking about scarcity. Um, if you don't use scarcity in your offer in some way, then you're going to greatly reduce your conversions because you need to give people a reason to order right away. People like to put things off, especially sending, uh, spending money. So if they don't have a reason to order right now, they're going to say to themselves, okay, I'll be back tomorrow to order this or I'll come back next week or I don't really need this right now. Maybe I can wait a little while. So we want to get rid of that because someday never comes and they forget. they'll forget to come back or their mind will change or whatever the case may be. So we need them to to order right now. So the way to do that is to give them a few reasons to do that. And we do that with scarcity by um, you know, limiting the amount of copies we're selling, whether it's a product or service, finding a way to limit that. Maybe it's you have a limited amount of copies available. Maybe you can only take on a certain amount of clients because you only have so much time in a day. Whatever the case may be, you know, find a way to limit your offer. And if you can also add some type of time limited sale to that, even better. So if we're doing a product launch, you can say this special product launch price is only available for the next seven days and then have a countdown timer uh, below the order now button. So they know that that clock is ticking and they need to order by then or they're going to have to pay more later. So we've been through this in the video sales letter, so I'll leave you to check that out. But this is basically explaining what happens when they order. Um, just be very specific about what happens when they click the buy now button to order or if they're ordering through phone. Um, you know, explain exactly what happens when they give their credit card details. You know, exactly how are they going to get the product or service. And then you can actually close the video. Thank them for watching and wish them luck. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the three-day product or service launch video series. If you have any questions about this template, just let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one.